Sleeves, I'm a big fan of sleeves. Knee sleeves and elbow sleeves. We have a couple different types up here. Um, these are the rebands and then Jordan's got the rock tape ones. I love them, a little bit of compression. Uh, can help reduce inflammation, makes a secure joint. It really can help alleviate pain. Um, I love it. And it gives me a little spring coming out of my squat when I'm training just my Olympic lifts. I definitely wear them. Right, I usually don't wear them too much doing, during uh, too many wides, like an actual workout. But if I'm just doing my Olympic lifts um, or squatting heavy or pulling heavy or anything like that, I definitely use them. Anytime I go overhead, I use these as well. Especially if you're dealing with you know, golfer's elbow, tennis elbow, inflammation of the lateral and medial epicondyles, the ligaments that attach to those, those bones. We see that consistently within this type of training with CrossFit. We're pulling all the time, either from the ground with a barbell or overhead, or we're pushing a lot with push-ups, with bench, wall balls, you name it. We're, we're loading that elbow. And so you can create a lot of issues. I get a lot of issues. I'm doing too much gymnastics or too much jerk, uh, overhead work. I'll get flared up on the inside of that elbow. So I always, I always wear my, my elbow sleeves when I'm doing anything like that. I definitely think it helps. Um, knee sleeves, you, def you have different sizes as well. And what's cool is when you start, you'll buy one size and then as you start training consistently, you'll have to probably buy a bigger size, right? which I think is a good thing, right? That just means your quads and your hammies and calves are a little bit bigger. Um, so I do have an old pair if anybody wants them. They've had a couple years of use though, so you may not want to. But definitely try them out. The, I think just the feeling of the compression security around the knee is huge for me. Um, if you never tried them on, I'd try them on. Next time you squat or, or just put them on, do some air squats, I think you'll notice a pretty big difference. I definitely do. Uh, I don't really have any knee pain, but I still wear them. But the elbow pain, it definitely shores that up quite a bit. There's a billion different types of them if you research them. Again, these are the types of things that I don't skimp on. I think these are 40 a piece, right? A 30, 35 to 40 bucks a piece, depending on who you go through. Um, the rebands. I don't know what the rock tape ones are per. It, they were pretty good price and they were sold together. 60 a pair. Okay, that's, that's pretty solid. Yeah. Um, I guess I'd just feel it out. They're pretty much the same thing and they're probably just all neoprene or 90% neoprene. But um, I think the rebands feel a little bit thicker. Those rock tape ones come in different Do they? Okay. Okay. So yeah, I'd, I'd play with them, try them on. Um, but yeah, you're not going to, you know, you're probably looking 60, 80 bucks for a good pair. But again, they're really not going to go anywhere as long as, well, unless you outgrow them. Uh, socks, I'm not a big tall socks guy, but as people ask me all the time, why do people wear the tall socks? I don't know if it's more of a fashion thing than it is uh, anything else, but it can help with learning your double unders and not whipping yourself, uh, hitting your shins on the boxes. And if you, have the, if you do get the really tight ones, I have worn the tight ones sometimes from like uh, Rogue put, puts out some decent ones, but it does have a compression effect on the, on the calf, right? which goes into these, you can use compression therapy. You saw this, this came out in the Olympics, or not came out in the Olympics, but it got really popular in the Olympics, I think, uh, when was the last Summer Olympics? Was it four years ago or three years ago? London. One year ago? No, London. London, yeah, 2012, right? Yeah. Okay, well, I guess that was, anyway, whatever it was, um, it kind of got popularized with, you saw a lot of the sprinters are coming out wearing compression therapy, right? They had um, compression, it, you know, it doesn't cover the knee or the ankle, just the calf muscle. So the idea that that compression around that muscle tissue can alleviate soreness, inflammation, and generate, some would say generate more power. Now I don't know if that's been researched at all, but that's why some are using it. Again, this is one of those things that, even if you can't explain it through research, like when you put it on, you go, man, that feels pretty damn good. Um, and it's not, it feels kind of good to wear them. So you have those for forearms, you have those for, for your calves. Um, you can look like Chris and wear your total compression pants. Keep everything together nice and tight. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha.